Is it worth it to try and become a pharmacy tech in 2021? In this video, we're going to go over the salaries of pharmacy techs, the job market, educational requirements, and more. But first, what is a pharmacy tech and what do they do? Pharmacy technicians, also known as pharmacy techs, provide medications under the direction of a pharmacist. Often they measure, mix, count out, label, and record amounts and dosages of medications according to prescription orders. All of this is performed under the direction of one or more pharmacists. Pharmacy techs can also be tasked with answering the telephone and responding to questions or requests. They secure different kinds of drugs and make sure that they are in the proper environment. They can also operate cash registers to accept payment from customers. Pharmacy technicians are tasked with helping pharmacists around the pharmacy, doing things that really maybe isn't worth their time. One of the main advantages of this occupation is the barrier to entry is very low. According to a survey done by the Occupational Information Network, about 60% of pharmacy techs just have a high school diploma. About 14% have high school diploma and some kind of certificate, and about 13% have some college. So you don't need a bachelor's degree, you don't need an associate's degree to become a pharmacy tech in certain states. In other states, the requirements are a little bit different and they might actually require a certification or potentially even an associate's degree. But in general, the vast majority of pharmacy techs just have a high school diploma. Another interesting thing about this occupation is you might not be working uh, normal business hours. Just like pharmacists, pharmacy techs can work in hospitals and they can work at pharmacies outside of hospitals and drugstores. And many of these places can actually be 24 hours a day, meaning some pharmacy techs have the opportunity to work uh, a graveyard shift if, if they want. But in my opinion, the best reason to become a pharmacy tech is if you're actually really interested in becoming a pharmacist, but you're not 100% sure. This is a great opportunity to job shadow pharmacists and really see what they do day to day and really figure out whether it is for you. One of the biggest complaints of actually becoming a pharmacist is the lack of transferable skills. It's hard to say become a pharmacist and then transfer those skills to other occupations. On the other hand, a lot of occupations are like this. It requires a lot of schooling and debt to typically become a pharmacist. So it's a great idea to become a pharmacy tech first. So what kind of compensation can a pharmacy tech expect? Well, in 2020, the average base salary for a pharmacy tech across the entire United States, and these are pharmacy techs that work in drugstores and work in hospitals and other work environments. In 2020, the average base salary was $36,450, and this is up from $21,600 in the year 2000. So over a 20 year time period, wages grew by about $15,000 for pharmacy techs or about $700 per year. If you were to take this average yearly wage growth by 2024, the average base salary for a pharmacy tech would be 30, around 39,000 per year. And by 2030, around $43,000 per year. And this is before any overtime. Pharmacy techs are eligible for overtime. So if they're working over 40 hours a week, by law, they have to be given time and a half by their employer. And if they're in a state like California, double time actually kicks in at a certain point if they're working a lot of overtime. So that pay can add up over time. Pharmacy techs unfortunately earn a little bit less than similar occupations. Medical assistants tend to earn a little bit more, around 37,000, although the difference isn't that great. Psychiatric techs also earn around 38. And if you did end up getting an associate's degree, you can definitely boost your pay by going into, say, trying to become a dental hygienist. They are also on their feet and they work with their hands. Diagnostic medical, medical sonographers, respiratory therapists. There's actually a lot of healthcare occupations that pay pretty well, given that they only require an associate's degree. So there's definitely choices beyond this occupation. There are certain states that tend to pay pharmacy techs a little bit more. On this particular map, the darker blue states tend to pay pharmacy techs the most. And California was actually found to be the highest paying state for pharmacy techs with an average base salary of around 48,000 per year. The state of California, the golden state, also has pretty good worker related laws, like I told you about the double time earlier in this video. So that covers the compensation of pharmacy techs. The next question is, how easy is it to get a job? The barrier to entry is really low. You just need a high school diploma. Does that then mean that lots of people are becoming pharmacy techs and jobs are hard to come by? That's what 
we're kind of interested in here. How competitive is it? In 2020, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there was about 415,000 employed pharmacy techs in the workforce. This is less than medical assistants and licensed nurses, but this is vastly more than, say, dental hygienists, psychiatric techs, and respiratory therapists. So the workforce is pretty large. And there has been significant growth in the number of employed pharmacy techs over the past 20 years. In the year 2000, the government recorded 190,940 employed pharmacy techs. This grew to 415,310 in 2020. So the pharmacy tech workforce more than doubled in just two decades. Very few occupations have seen this kind of job growth. Since 2018, the job growth has been kind of muted. It hasn't grown that much. But if you also do look at 2020, the number of employed pharmacy techs didn't fall during COVID. It actually didn't fall really at all. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is only anticipating a 4% growth in jobs for pharmacy techs over the next 10 years. But later in this video, I'm going to show you that there's actually quite a bit of demand for people in this occupation by the number of job postings. This 4% growth might be a little too bearish in my opinion, because I also looked at the number of job postings for pharmacy techs around the country, and there's actually plenty of job opportunities. I looked on three different job boards, Indeed.com, LinkedIn, and Glassdoor, to look at how many job postings there are for pharmacy techs. On Glassdoor.com, there was 34,659 job postings. On Indeed.com, I found 35,008 job opportunities for pharmacy techs. And on LinkedIn, there was 48,400. When you look at the number of job opportunities on these three different job boards, and compare it to the number of employed pharmacy techs in the workforce, it looks really good. There's plenty of job opportunities for pharmacy techs right now. Another factor different people like to look at when they're looking at different careers is, is your personality type similar to people that are working in occupations that you're interested in? To figure out your Myers-Briggs type, you can do a free Myers-Briggs personality assessment online. There's plenty all over the internet. And when you do figure out your type, you can compare it to people in different occupations. According to the Myers-Briggs company, the most likely Myers-Briggs type to become a pharmacy tech is the INFJ, also known as the advocate. This is followed by the ENTJ, the commander, the ESTJ, number three, the director, and finally, the fourth would be the ISTJ, also known as the inspector. So as you can see, there are definitely some reasons to become a pharmacy tech in 2021. There are plenty of job opportunities all around the United States for people that want to become pharmacy techs. Like I said earlier, this is a great occupation if you're interested in becoming a pharmacist, but you're not 100% certain. If you enjoyed this video, also check out my sterile processing tech video and my surgical tech video. Both those occupations, sterile processing tech and surgical tech, both don't have a huge barrier to entry like many other occupations. Also, surgical techs tend to make pretty good money. Are you interested in becoming a pharmacy tech? Let us know down in the comments below. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.